Generate equations that represent the pollution levels P of T is a function of time T in years such that P of zero is equal to 150 and A, P of T, triples each year. Let's start by making a table of values and then we'll look for a pattern to write the equation. We'll start with T equals zero and then let T go up one year at a time. Initially, the pollution level is 150, so in the first row, we'll put 150. Then we're given that P of T triples each year. In order to triple something, we need to multiply it by 3. So in year 1, the pollution level will have increased to 150 times 3. Uh, rather than actually finding the value, which in this case would be 450, we're going to go ahead and just leave it as 150 times 3, thinking about the process so that we can look for a pattern to write an equation. How much will there be in the second year? Well, we'll need to take the amount in the first year and triple that. So we'll need to take 150 times 3 and multiply by 3, and we'll end up with 150 times 3 times 3, but that can be written as 150 times 3 squared. Similarly, for t equals 3, we'll have 150 times 3 raised to the third power. So we want to look for a pattern. Well, in each case, we've got 150 times a power of 3. When t is 3, the exponent is 3. When t is 2, the exponent is 2. When t is 1, we could write the expression as 150 times 3 to the first. And even when t equals 0, we could write the expression as 150 times 3 to the 0, because 3 to the 0 is 1, and 1 times 150 is 150. So our equation is p of t is equal to the initial pollution level, which is 150, multiplied by 3 raised to the t, where t is time in years. For part b, we're given that p of t decreases by 12 units each year. So let's use the same strategy. We'll make a table of values, look for a pattern, and then write the equation. The initial pollution level is still the same, 150, so we'll fill in 150 into the first row. But this time, P of T decreases by 12 units each year. So after one year, the pollution level will be 150 minus 12. And again, instead of actually calculating that, we're just going to leave it as 150 minus 12 so that we can see the process. After two years, the pollution level would be 150 minus 12, but then minus another 12. So we can write that as minus 12 times 2. After three years, the pollution level will be 150 minus 12 times 3. So looking at our pattern, each time we have the initial pollution level, 150, minus 12 times some number. When t is equal to 3, we multiply 12 by 3. When t is 2, we multiply 12 by 2. When time is 1, we could multiply 12 by 1, and we'd get the same value for our expression because 12 times 1 is 12. And even when time is 0, we could write 150 minus 12 times 0, because 12 times 0 is 0, and 150 minus 0 is 150. So our equation is P of T is equal to 150, our initial pollution level, minus 12 times T. Notice this time that we have a linear function. The initial pollution level is 150. The average rate of change is negative 12 units per year, meaning that the pollution level goes down by 12 units per year. 
And for part C, we're given that P of T decreases by 7% each year. So again, make a table of values and look for a pattern. The initial pollution level is still 150. But this time, P of T decreases by 7% each year. It's tempting to subtract 7%, but if something decreases by 7%, that means that 93% remains. So to find the amount after one year, we need to take 150 and multiply by 93%, which is a decimal, is 0.93. So 150 multiplied by 0.93. After two years, we'll have 93% of the amount after one year. So we'll need to multiply by 0.93 again. And we can write the amount as 150 times 0.93 raised to the second power. And similarly, after three years, the pollution level will be 150 times 0.93 raised to the third power. So this is very similar to what we had in part A. Our pattern, we have the initial amount, 150, times a decay factor raised to a power. And the power matches the value of t. Uh, for t equals 1, we could write 150 times 0.93 to the first. For t equals 0, we could write 150 times 0.93 raised to the 0. So our formula is p of t is equal to 150 times 0.93 raised to the t. So in this case, we have exponential decay. The initial amount is 150. The decay factor is 0 0.93, or 93%. Okay, finally, for part D, we're given that the average annual rate of change of P of T with respect to T is constant at 1. This means that P of T will go up by 1 every time that a year goes by. So every year, the pollution level goes up by 1 unit. So we'll make a table, look for a pattern again. The initial pollution level is 150. The average rate of change is constant at 1. So after one year, the pollution level will be 150 plus 1. After two years, the pollution level will be 150 plus 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. After three years, the pollution level will be 150 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which will be 150 plus 3. Um, for time equals 0, we could write 150 plus 0. So what we notice is that each time, the pollution level is 150 plus the number of years that have gone by. So our formula is simply P of T is equal to 150 plus T.